Anthony Simons is about to take another leap. After having a really nice breakout season last year for the Trailblazers, I feel as if Anthony is only going to get better as time progresses, and this upcoming season, I'm expecting him to take another jump. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Anthony Simons was drafted with the number 24 overall selection during the 2018 NBA draft by the Portland Trailblazers. And originally when Anthony was drafted, he was seen as a player that could potentially be a really good player in the future, but he was certainly a project once he was drafted. And for that reason, getting drafted to a team like the Trailblazers was a perfect situation for both sides. It was perfect for Anthony because he would have a lot of time to develop and there wouldn't necessarily be pressure on him, and also not to mention he could learn from a player in Damian Lillard who would be a perfect mentor for him, but it was also perfect for the Portland Trailblazers because they would be bringing in a talent that probably should have went earlier than the 24th overall selection, and a guy who down the road could be a potential all-star. So I definitely think it made a ton of sense for both sides. But when Anthony was drafted in his rookie season, he barely played whatsoever, only playing 20 games on the year and averaging 3.7 points per game on 44% shooting from the field. 0.7 rebounds on 0.7 assists, and as I said, this was in line with the expectations for him, as he was certainly seen as a project, but out of these players that are considered projects, what you want to see from them is just to continue to improve their game season after season. Even if it isn't necessarily significant jumps, it is something that you are looking for, just subtle improvements, maybe in terms of a specific thing offensively that he may have been struggling with in the past, or maybe just perfecting something offensively, improving your defense of skills overall just seeing something improve each and every season and in his second season with an increased role Anthony saw his stats go up across the board basically averaging 8.3 points per game on 40 percent shooting from the field 2.2 rebounds on 1.4 assists and the season following that he had very similar numbers once again averaging 7.8 points per game on 42 percent shooting from the field 2.2 rebounds on 1.4 assists once again and at that point after the 2020 season, Anthony was seen as a player that was developing relatively nicely, although he wasn't necessarily all that good of a player yet, and he definitely wasn't a starting level talent, he was although showing really nice flashes of what he could potentially be in the future. And there were certainly certain games where he would absolutely go off for 20, even 30 points on relatively efficient shooting numbers as well. The biggest thing that people wanted to see from Anthony was just consistency, and that's something that's usually an issue for a lot of younger players, but certainly after after the 2020 season, most Portland Trailblazers fans were very high on Anthony Simons and overall were just very excited about his future. And the season following that, this previous year in the 2021 season, all his hard work finally paid off as he bumped his numbers up across the board once again significantly this time though, averaging 17 points per game on 44% shooting from the field, 2.6 rebounds on 3.9 assists, which are just phenomenal numbers, but especially considering what he was putting up in his first three seasons this was definitely a great breakout year for Anthony. So at this point, it's pretty clear that Anthony has a ton of talent, and he's clearly a high-level starter at this point. But the question at this point is, how good can Anthony potentially get going forward? Well, of course, based on the title of the video, I personally see Anthony as one of those young guys that just continue to improve their game season after season. And eventually, in the long-term future, I really see Anthony as an all-star type player at the very least. I just think he's too talented talented overall. Whether you talk about his individual scoring ability, his improving passing and playmaking ability, or even his rebounding ability, I just think Anthony is a very, very talented player. But specifically talking about this upcoming season, I definitely expect a nice little jump from Anthony once again. And a stat line that I would be happy with, or a stat line I would honestly be expecting, would be for Anthony to bump his numbers up in the points per game department to around 19, maybe even 20 points per game, as well as bump up both his rebound 
numbers as well as his assist numbers, but specifically looking at his assist numbers a little more closely. Now, one thing that I do want to mention, and one exception to those expectations that I do have, would be to see how him and Damian Lillard play together. Now, of course, in the past, they have played decently well together, but Anthony wasn't the same player in the past that he is now. So it's definitely somewhat of a question mark on how they'll play together. I personally think they'll play pretty well, but if for whatever reason they don't play well together and the Blazers need to choose either to play Anthony or Damian Lillard, of course, Dame is going to get most of the time and Anthony is going to see his numbers get cut. So at that point, if he's only averaging, let's say 15 or 16 or even 17 points per game, but with a decreased role, I definitely would not be disappointed with that. And that would definitely be an exception to the expectations that I do have. Now, I just want to quickly mention, this is not a scenario that I'm expecting. I'm expecting Dame and Anthony to play pretty well off each other. And honestly, I think having Dame in the lineup actually could help improve Anthony's statistics because there wouldn't be as much pressure on Anthony. Now, the other side to that argument is some people think that Anthony's numbers are going to go down with a lower opportunity that he's going to get with Dame back in the lineup. People just think Dame is going to get a lot more shots in this offense and Anthony is going to get a lot less, which of course does make sense sense as, as last year it was just mostly Anthony taking over and now inserting a player like Dame who's certainly going to take certain opportunities away from you could potentially lower your numbers but in my opinion I just think the fact that a player like Dame is going to take a ton of pressure off Anthony is going to outweigh any negatives that bringing in Dame would have on Anthony's career or Anthony's statistics but honestly even besides the numbers I just want to see Anthony improve his game overall maybe try to perfect some aspects of his offensive game I certainly would would like to see him improve his overall passing and playmaking ability, although he has shown tremendous strides in that department. And overall, I just see Anthony as an extremely talented player, as I mentioned, and I think the combination between him and Dame is going to be an extremely exciting duo to watch in the future going forward. And I definitely think that combo would make a lot more sense and definitely works a lot better than Dame and CJ McCollum. And one of the main reasons for that is Anthony does have nice size to him, so you wouldn't necessarily be playing a pretty short backcourt that would struggle defensively. Having that bigger body at that shooting guard position for the Blazers would definitely be a huge benefit. Now in terms of the Portland Trailblazers as a whole going forward, they're definitely in an interesting situation as it seems like they are trying to rebuild or at the very least retool, but they still have Damian Lillard on their roster, so it's a little bit of an interesting spot. If they decide to go full rebuild, that would be interesting. It would definitely be a good situation for a guy in Anthony who is still very young, but obviously it would be very interesting to see what happens with Damian Lillard if that were to be the case. But if not, and they just build a team centered around Dame and Anthony, it definitely would be a very exciting team to watch. So I guess we'll see what happens on that front as well. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Anthony Simons is about to make another leap, or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you did enjoy it, check one of these two videos popping up now, and until the next time, peace out guys.